All right, guys, the common tendency that we're gonna be talking about is for the individual that has a nice forehand roll volley, but doesn't use it in this zone up here. I see a lot of players out there trying to resort more to like a high punch volley, and they're just not getting enough on it. Know that if your bread and butter uh, is your roll volley and you like using it and you have options with it, there is no need to ever hit a high punch volley from here. Why? Because you can do a lot more damage with that high uh, forehand roll volley. Uh, Certain things you th see there? Yeah, yeah, I think the other tendency too is, yeah, there, like Tyson talked about, there's kind of this imaginary or hidden pocket right in here where it's very challenging to know what to do. If we use the conventional roll volley route where we're trying to finish up and over the ball, look how awkward this is as my hand gets higher and higher above my head. This is a shot we wanna be aggressive with. We wanna be able to hit through this. We're not trying to finish up and over the ball. So I see a lot of people um, just become very off balance because they don't know how to handle it as far as top spin goes or they're so eager when the ball's up to think finish that they're wanting to snap their wrist down and try to hit an overhead where they're having to squat down, which looks very awkward and, and is very easy to miss in the top of the net. So we're gonna give you some tips on how do we stay aggressive with this green light ball, which we should, but the technique's just a little bit different. Think about this too, I, you know, with, with you having time, you obviously have time to slide over and gain space for that forehand too. I think a lot of people's feet kind of get stuck mm -hmm. in that position and then you try to resort to, since you're not in the, in the correct position, you try to resort to taking a awkward forehand punch volley in here when you could really slide over, mm -hmm. gain more space, and then look to do a lot more damage with that forehand roll. Okay guys, first progression of the drills here. We're gonna start out basic, back to the fundamentals. Um, Coach Kyle is gonna do a set of 10. Each set consists of hitting a roll volley in your yellow zone and then hitting a roll volley in this green zone. As you're hitting a roll volley in green, as we talked about before, make sure you're gaining spacing, make sure you're getting in the correct position and getting organized, getting prepared, plays a very large part here. Ready? Yep. Okay, yellow. Good, green. Good, and I may purposely try to jam you a little bit. Okay. There's like set it. one, like yellow, I'm trying to jam him, slide. Lovely, good. If you want to find a forehand, if you want to find a forehand and do a lot more damage here, look to move to your non-dominant side and gain some space. Ready here? Yellow, green, space, space, space. Lovely again, yellow and green, get around it. Good, if you want to live and die by the forehand, you got to get your feet around it. Feet around it, feet around it. Beautiful, there's, there's five, under, spacing. Okay, show us what not to do. Okay. Show us what not to do. On so yellow, one. so yep, yep. So okay. yellow first, roll, and then jammed. Okay. And what did you do there? I tried finishing from low to high over the ball, but the ball was already high. Yeah. So if I'm trying to finish over it, that's gonna create rolling. That's not what I want. My intent, this is a green light ball. My intent is to hit more of a sidearm motion and I'm swiping, and what I'm going for, Tyson, is I'm actually trying to hit side spin. Okay. The yeah, way I look I like at it, it is some spin is better than none, for even sure. though top spin is the best for getting down. If I attack this ball aggressively, more of a sideways motion, I call it kind of my windshield wiper forehand. Okay. Yeah. If I'm able to get some side spin on it, that will also help the ball go down. Right. So I'm really trying to hit through this ball, or if it is high enough, I can go down on it a little bit. Okay. But again, I want a certain amount of that brush feel. Yeah. The moment it's 100% flat, my control goes out the window. Right, main purpose is just getting down on it, whether it's going down or it's adding that little side spin. Yep. Ready here, yep. go a couple more. Yellow, green, again, yellow, green. Okay, now show us a punch volley. I guess okay. show us what you shouldn't be doing. One. Correct, yep. yeah. Yellow, okay, then he has to resort to a punch volley, gets jammed, very good, okay? Know that you can do a lot more from here than you can, you know, ver you know versus getting jammed in here and then and then simply just trying to guide it back with like no sort of authority. Okay guys, second drill here. I'm the teacher at the baseline, Coach Kyle's a student. I'm gonna be feeding up high balls um, on, on, on purpose here. Uh, Kyle's more so gonna be getting in, in the correct position. Uh, he's gonna be making contact up here and taking this as a roll volley. Um, know that as you hit that roll volley, you're either hitting down on it or you're adding a little side spin. Just make sure that you're getting spacing and that you're not getting jammed in here. Ready here? here we go. Rock and roll. Green. Good. Green. Kyle is also gonna be announcing the zone in which he makes contact in. Green. Good. Um, I can either try to keep the, keep the feed going uh, or I could simply trap it and then feed again. Okay, here we go. Green. I would say lower level players, probably easier just to trap and feed. Green. Higher level players, if you want to try to keep the rally going and make it continuous, Green. you can. 
Making it continuous. Green. Green. Beautiful. Good workout for Kyle. He's got to take step a step back. back. Lovely. Yellow. Yeah. Green. Good. So notice the difference here. Kyle's, Kyle's main focus on a green light ball is going through it. It's, it's hitting 100% of the ball, and he's looking to hit it with some authority. Anytime he's dealing with the ball in yellow, he's probably going to be a bit more cautious. He's probably going to be wrapped around more, more placement, but he's still looking to, to keep that aggression, but more so in like a controlled manner. Anytime he's in red, he's more so taking a step back, looking to still dictate, but in a very controlled manner. Okay guys, game here. I'm gonna be feeding up a high ball. Kyle's gonna be taking that high forehand roll volley in his green zone, trying to put the ball away. Uh, it's gonna be rally scoring, game to 11. If I were to get up and get established, I get a point. If I were to win the point in this skinny single setting, then it would be two to zero. So, um, so initially, I get a bonus point if I get up and get established as Kyle's trying to push me back. Okay, rally scoring, yep, play yep. the point out, rock and roll. I'm, yep. feeding a, I'm feeding a high ball to start it. There we go. Play it out. Yeah, okay, zero one, zero one. I never got established there. Again, I have to be very cooperative on, on the first ball, okay? I'm, I'm being cooperative, I'm feeding it high. We're playing the point out. Yeah, okay, zero two. I never really got up and very got established. Close. Very close, I was very to close. Established. Okay, zero two, feeding high. Yeah, very good. Zero three. Sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, two, sorry, sorry. Two points, two points. Okay, two points. Good ball. Using the net there. So two to three. Here we go. High ball. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, That's a good point. Two, four. I got two more. So score is four to three. Remember, I, I get that bonus point if I get up and get established. Four to three. Ah, oh, that's a good ball. Very nice. So look at the adjustment there. I, I uh, hit the ball up a little higher. I fed it a little higher, and Kyle was a bit more precise with his location. All in all, you can look to flirt with the lines a little bit if if you're at a skill set that like allows you to. But if you have more time and it's higher, don't be afraid to be a bit more precise with your location. Good point. Okay, uh, 43? Fours, fours. 40s, uh, 44. Ah, too good. Okay. A little unnecessary lean. Uh, and so I, I really wasn't established, I was halfway so in. So the way I would see it is, I have such an advantage at the beginning, regardless, if you win a point, you should just get two. Okay, get okay, two. very good. So score is 64. 64, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. 84. Okay, last one here, 84, high ball. Ah, very <laughs> good. Okay, guys, in that game portion there, um, I was purposely feeding up a high ball to Kyle. Kyle had to hit a high forehand green volley forehand, and then he was to try to uh, win the point off of that. My job was to neutralize, try to get it to the kitchen line, um, but it was just half court skinny singles, rally scoring. Um, Any time that I was able to get up and get established, I, I uh, got a bonus point. If I were to win the point, then I'd get one more. So if I got established and won the point, I would get two. Uh, main focus is person at the baseline is trying to neutralize, person at the kitchen line is choosing the right ball to work with. They're not hitting a punch volley, they're not hitting an overhead, they're gaining space and using that, using that forehand roll volley. Um, yeah, great game because it's really working both sides, right? It's built around uh, being aggressive with the green light ball that's not quite high enough to overhead, but it's also, Tyson's getting a great benefit out of it as well. It really helps send the message home. It's tough to put the ball away. So if you're able to stay in there with your defense, shorten it up, you can get a lot out of it from a, a defensive, uh, working on your scrappiness as well as, as working on what to do with that green light ball.